Test. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to my colleague from Montana and from Hawaii also uh, for their support in this. Uh, briefly, Mr. Speaker, um, this is what you get when people talk about issues and not cliches. This is a long time in the making. Folks from, as has previously been indicated, folks from the wilderness areas, folks from economic development areas, folks from the resource extraction areas, all coming together on this. But just in case there is some concern about there about, oh my God, potentially we are transferring the federal estate. Let's remind people of a couple of things that, is, that are in this legislation. First of all, nothing is transferred for nothing. It talks about the appraisal process and how if you're going to purchase the federal estate, you're going to pay for it. Secondly, it's talking about exchanges along the Trans-Pacific uh, legislation on the checkerboard from 1862, which talks about the Secretary of the Interior is a full partner with the county commission in identifying those lands that are appropriate for exchange. Why is this important? This is important because if they don't think it's a good idea to exchange, then the Secretary of the Interior can stop that process. So it doesn't force the Secretary of Interior to exchange lands that he or she in the future doesn't want to. But let's remind ourselves of one other thing. Exchanges of checkerboard land are not just something that benefits perhaps economic development along the Interstate 80 corridor or somebody who grazes, uh, who does a cow-calf operation somewhere. It also allows resource managers, federal land managers, wildlife people to consolidate checkerboard lands where they need to be consolidated to do things like preserve habitat, preserve special uh, resource areas, whether it's for mule deer, whether it's for the endangered species potential of the sage hen, and other things like that. So it's a two-way street. So my congratulations to the folks of Pershing County and the BLM employees in the Winnemucca District. By the way, no lands are subject to this that haven't been identified in their resource management plan, their planning document as potentially available for either exchange or disposal. Finally, I want to remind you of this. There are 150,000 acres that can be bought out of a potential federal estate of over 9 million acres in that county. So it's a fraction of 1%. And of the potential available for exchange, it sets an upper limit of 300,000. Potential. The county has to ask for it, the secretary has to agree to an exchange. So when you talk about the size of the federal estate in Pershing County, which by the way is the home to the Burning Man uh, Festival, for those of you that follow that sort of stuff, uh, it is something that is quite frankly not something that is going to change the landscape, literally speaking, in terms of the ownership and the diminishment of the federal estate. They're still the major player to the tune of, at the end of the day, 95% of the federal estate is still intact. Finally, on wilderness study areas and wilderness creation areas, we have, in this bill, you have created about $148,000 of new, or 148,000 acres of new wilderness areas. And you have released parts of five different wilderness study areas that are about 48,000 acres. So when you start talking about this is a good housekeeping measure, it allows Pershing County to come in too the, uh, the new age in terms of what they think is appropriate for their economic diversification and vitality, but also gives federal land managers, resource folks, wildlife uh, groups, and conservation groups the tools to do good things in Pershing County too. The last piece, and I want to thank my colleague for, for his generous uh, provision of the time, is this. The most successful public lands legislation in the country is probably the Southern Nevada Public Lands Management Act, which turns 20 this year. Much of this is patterned on that. When you talk about what happens when they sell money, it goes to education, it goes to the county, and then 85% of every dollar brought in goes for the benefit of those federal lands, for those federal land managers in Pershing County. It's been working in Southern Nevada for 20 years this is a good step. I encourage your bipartisan nationwide support. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield back. Gentleman from Nevada.